Greetings. Hi. My name is Bogle Denise Newsom. For those who have not met me, and I am a community activist. First and foremost, let me thank those who have been very patient with us as we have began the transition or the movement of our domain name, VogelDeniseNewsom.net, over to a new web host provider as we continue to encourage and promoting supporting Black-owned businesses. We have also taken on the domain name VogelDeniseNewsom.com. So you're going to have hopefully two website forms, VogelDeniseNewsom.net as well as VogelDeniseNewsom.com. I did a video. We have had the November 8th, 2016 presidential elections. And of course, there have been those who called and said, well, you said Donald Trump was going to win. And that was the reason when people were calling me during the campaign, what do you think about Donald Trump? What do you think about Hillary Clinton? And I told them, I do not have time to entertain that type of foolishness. Y'all want to entertain those distractions? Continue to do that. But we have more serious and more important and critical issues to deal with. And that is building a nation and a government that's going to work for the African American people, be it African Americans, however you claim, whatever you want to be, people of color, blacks, Negroes, coloreds, whatever they want to call themselves. This is what we're, we're um, focusing on. We are not focusing on basically the Donald Trump drama, okay? But one thing I can say is that as we work to build a government and a nation of people, we are well underway. We are looking forward to meeting the requirements of a plebiscite, okay, um, a declaration, a flag, a constitution, and recognition by the international government or other world leaders and nations. So we are well on our way to building a nation. Yes, we are well on our way in building a government and moving this nation forward. Putting forth a declaration of freedom, independence, and separation. Our ancestors before us, these great leaders before us, as Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, people like Marcus Garvey, they set and paved the way for us. We cannot let their work go in vain. So we are working with a constitution already. The preamble. We have a flag. We have a declaration. These civil rights community activist leaders lost their lives fighting for freedom. Well, civil rights community activist Vogel Denise Newsom is anchoring the relay of these powerful leaders as Megar Evers, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King. Networking with others who have the same goal and objective in mind. Moving the nation forward and building a government that works. Work for our people. Okay, we have the flag. I would say that we're working on and we're going to push, and that's the, going to be red, black, and green. So when we look at things like Donald Trump, people are like, "Oh, what are you going to do?" Understand? If you ever visit any of my websites, my previous websites, or even if you go out on my social forum in the SlideShare.net, um, you know, what is it? www.slideshare.net forward slash Vogel Denise. That's S L I D E S H A R E dot net slash Vogel Denise. B as in Valerie O. G as in George. E as in Edward. L as in Larry. Denise. D as in Denise. E. N as a Nancy, I S E. So the documents are there. Okay, so when they put Donald Trump, for instance, in office, the Klan, of course, in the Klan's law firm, Baker, Donaldson, Beerman, Caldwell, and Berkowitz, that's basically running and controlling the government. Yes, regardless who they put in. See, what happened for those who don't know, it appears in 2008, 
Hillary Clinton wanted to go in. But they said, no, let's go with the first, with they, you know, the game they played, the first black president. So that's why they put Barack Obama, telling her she'll be next. You go down in history as the first woman's, woman president. But as you all see, they pulled the plug on her, like they did Mitt Romney at the last minute. Okay? But these things we need because now it solidifies and support what we have been telling you all that the Klan, Okay, just like Malcolm, said, Malcolm X said, there's going to come a day if the federal government won't do it, that we pull off those hoods. Well, here on my blog and website, as well as with those who I'm networking with, we are pulling off. I hope I haven't put anybody on the spot. I'm not intending to try and stir you up and make you do something that you wouldn't have done anyway. <laughs> I pray that God will bless you in everything that you do. I pray that you will grow intellectually so that you can understand the problems of the world and where you fit into in that world picture. And I pray that all the fear that has ever been in your heart will be taken out. And when you, look, when you look at that man, if you know he's nothing but a coward, you won't fear him. If he wasn't a coward, he wouldn't gang up on you. He wouldn't need to sneak around here. This, this is how they function. They function in mob. That's a coward. They put on a sheet so you won't know who they are. That's a coward. No. The time will come when that sheet will be ripped off. If the federal government doesn't take it off, we'll take it off. The following are quotes from a prominent Muslim civil rights and activist by the name of Malcolm X. We declare our right to this earth to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being in this society, on this earth, in this day, which we intend to bring into existence by any means necessary. Our objective is complete freedom, justice, and equality by any means necessary. The day that the black man takes an uncompromising step and realizes that he's within his rights when his own freedom is being jeopardized to use any means necessary to bring about his freedom or put a halt to that injustice, I don't think he'll be by himself. If violence is wrong in America, violence is wrong abroad. If it is wrong to be violent defending black women and black children and black babies and black men, then it is wrong for America to draft us and make us violent abroad in defense of her. And if it is right for America to draft us and teach us how to be violent in defense of her, then it is right for you and me to do whatever is necessary to defend our own people right here in this country. Usually when people are sad, they don't do anything. They just cry over their condition. But when they are angry, they bring about change. The hoods, and we are showing you all where they are in their business suits, robes, where they are in the federal government state government, in the legislative branch, the executive branch, as well as the courts. Okay? So what happened was when Donald Trump got in there, notice how they put, like, for instance, people talk about the racial, racist background of Steve, what is the name, Bannon? Okay, things like that. Well, we need things like that. We need evidence like that. Because
because we are not operating up under a democracy. We are operating up under a despotism government regime. And under the Declaration of Independence, it allows us to legally and lawfully overthrow a despotism government. That is a government under the Declaration of Independence. It allows for, if it is despotism, political corruption involved, which we know, and even, you know, just discrimination and all these other things that's been going on, like in regards to the um, Ku Klux Klan Act of 1871. For those who don't know, like earlier this year or during the year, they were just brutally murdering and slaughtering these black African-American men and thinking it was funny. But again, this is evidence that we need to support the overthrow, the revolutionary overthrow. So when you hear people coming out now like um, Bernie Sanders and then now all talking about the revolution, we were already talking about that. Now talking about doing away with electoral colleges, we were already talking about that. Now talking about turning the District of Columbia to the 51st state. Just go out and visit our blog and forums. You see, they're trying to cover their tracks right now, but the damage has been done. We have sufficient evidence to overthrow this despotism government regime. Okay? We have enough sufficient evidence to overthrow the United States despotism government regime. So when again, so when they want to put people in like Steve Bannon that they know is a racist or <laughs> they want to give him his little salute, a Nazi salute, but let them do whatever they want to. Because they just have this little district over here. But see, we have the land. This is why the Ku Klux Klan and its members have gone in and put their people in these legis legislative positions and they're writing laws like integration and desegregation. Mm -hmm. yes. That was a process and laws written to gain access to our neighborhoods so that they could take us down from the inside. So when you hear and see videos like Donald Trump saying, what do y'all have to lose? Because it was all by design. You all may not have much. They talk about these blacks. What do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. Uh, look at my African-American over here. Trump management was charged with discriminating against African-Americans and breaking federal law. I have a great relationship with the blacks. I have, I've always had a great relationship with the blacks. What the hell do you have to lose? Americans, colors. But look, if you have land, you got power. And that's why they have been illegally and unlawfully taking your land and your property from you through laws that the Klan's members have been writing called eminent domain. Okay? Urban renewal. See, so what happens is when, because they've written these laws, illegally and unlawfully in disguise, using the members to write it, it makes those laws null and void. So let them go ahead and put Donald Trump in there. Let them go ahead and put Hillary Clinton in there, whomever. The bottom line is we are moving forward with our own nation and our own government. Again, we have a site, a declaration, we have a flag, we have a Constitution, and I can assure you, we are recognized, and we will be recognized by international government and world leaders. Okay? So, again, let them do whatever they're doing, because by law, it now provides us with the legal and lawful duty and right to overthrow this despotism government regime. They just have a district now, like I said, that they're trying to turn into the 51st state, okay? D.C. But again, that's just the cover. The damage has already been done. That's why when you hear Donald Trump say, oh, I've been a president of corporations and companies, that's because that's all they are. It's a corporation, okay? They have hijacked the United States of America's government. So by law, so I'm calling on the veterans, the ones who took the oath to defend and protect the people. Not the Klan. So you all need to be 
getting yourself together and preparing to join, to build a nation that will rise to the occasion. Read. Read about results. Read about resolutions to the problem, the racism that we face. Again, we have the power. We have the knife. Did you all see, for instance, how the private prison's owners just rallied after they heard that Trump won? That's because they're thinking you all are stupid enough. They're going to sit here and let y'all put them, let them put you all back in chains. Okay? Not only that, now you hear them talking about with the death of Cuban's president, Fidel Castro. Obama wrote this executive order. It's just going to put Trump in there to overturn that executive order. Well, for those who don't know, see that distraction? How many of you all know that the Emancipation Proclamation was nothing but an executive order? So he thinks he's going to be stupid enough to get in there and overturn the Emancipation Proclamation. This is why, this is why the claimant is all rounding and getting all excited. No. Because he has been put in office illegally in a mafia. Not only that, the same thing with y'all's first alleged black president, Barack Obama. He has been put in office through criminal acts. Criminal acts. So these eight years that he served will have to be wiped from history. This situation I'm talking to you all about is worse than the Nixon Watergate scandal. These are things that we have to talk about and we have to bring to light because it's very so we, again, thank you for enjoying the interest in this website because, again, it's about building a nation that's going to work on behalf of the people. And if you don't take a stand, you will fall for anything. So let them come on over to you know, Baker Donaldson and see, they're the Clarence the Law Firm. Yes, the Clarence Law Firm. They control and run everything. Go out on the website. Visit my forums and you'll see the government positions. That's only some of them. Where they are legal counsel to the President of the United States, his governors, the United States legislative members. That's Congress and the House of Representatives. That state as well. But again, you all are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. They're laughing at these church folks. Yeah, probably up in church every Sunday saying, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, whatever. And they're just sitting up here laughing and mocking at your own stupidity and ignorance. Because if you say you're serving a God, why is it that you don't know this? Why is it that these preachers that's out there that's been told to fleece you all through these tithes and offerings, why haven't they told you all or given you all this information? Because just like the words say, they're nothing but dumb dogs and they can't even work. All they are out there doing is entertaining you all telling y'all to pay your tithes and all. And guess where they're going? Right in these Jewish and Zionist controlled banks. You all are financing your own demise. Okay? So wake up. Wake up. Get a grasp of what's going on. And get control of the faculties in your communities. Let's restore. Let's rebuild. Okay? We have the land. We are already in the government jobs for the shift. The only reason why many of y'all are working is because you're working for the government. That state, federal, city, local, municipalities, things like that. Why? Because through integration and desegregation, they gained access and then took the communities down. Just took them down. And now they're laughing. So then they can release stupid videos from Donald Trump saying, what do we have to do? Okay? They need your money. They need your land. And we are here to address that. We're going to be addressing the straw man issue. Yes. So if your land has been taken from you through these illegal processes under the straw man that they've been using, yes, you're entitled to get that land back because it was taken from you illegally and unlawfully. Of course. So again, bear with us. Continue to come back and visit with us. But just understand, if you're ignorant, it's because you want to be ignorant. 
If you want knowledge, all you have to do is ask. Do the homework, do the research, and quit hating on people. See, I did not go to Harvard, no. I am a product of two HBCUs, Mississippi Valley State University and Florida a and University. I was not white institutionalized, like President Barack Obama or Michelle Obama at Harvard University. No, I want to make sure they put that information in me correctly. And see, just like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Edgar Evers, these were people that they feared. Why? Because they had knowledge and sense. Now they've got these jelly bags up in here, house Negroes in the government willing to sell you all out because they think when the clans and different ones get the government established, they're going to have a nice place. No, they're going to be thrown right on in the pot. Their plan was to throw, just use them, just laugh at them, calling them stupid. And they're going to just throw them right in the pot with the other Negroes, as they call them. You know they use that word nigger, coloreds and blacks, okay? But you can't tell them anything because they figure they live in a nice house in a nice county. You have a nice feel that they're safe. Things that they have been given to sell out their own. These Willie Lynch products like A.D. Trump, not A.D. Barack Obama, and Michelle Obama. So again, thank very much for coming, stopping by our blog, our forum, and our website. Because there's no excuse for ignorance. If you're ignorant or dumb, it's because you want to be. But if you want to be smart, wake up, educate yourself, get involved, and get off the sidelines. Thank you.